tools required for this project. Pencil, masking tape, measuring tape, silicone, eye protection, mask, level, trigger clamps, screwdriver, drill, jigsaw, and sawzall. Measure your pet from the floor to the shoulder of your dog and add two inches. Find the studs on the wall and mark the center of each of the studs. Cut the template to match the size of the door that you bought. Transfer this measurement to the wall where you want to install the extreme dog door. Use a level to mark a straight line at that height. This is very important. Align the template to that mark and most importantly, align the template to one of the existing studs and tape it to the wall using masking tape. Mark the edges around the whole template. Now remove the template carefully. Remember to always use appropriate protection. Drill all four corners to make the starter holes for the saw. Using the jigsaw or sawzall, cut the whole perimeter you marked with the template. Remove the cutout section and any insulation you may have using the appropriate protection. Frame the opening to make the structural area stronger. So in our case, we will install two small pieces on the bottom, one long piece on the left as a spacer, and another one on the bottom as the base. Use a small piece of 2x4 to measure the size for both fillers you need to cut for the framing. Insert the small 2x4 at the bottom and measure from the top of the small 2x4 up against the top of the opening you cut to get the measurement for the spacer. Measure from the small 2x4 to the existing stud to get the measurement for the base. Once you cut all the pieces for the framing, you can start pre-drilling them and also you can start the screws for easier installation. First secure both fillers, then the spacer with two or three screws. Lastly, before securing the base, make sure it is leveled. If not, use shims to make any adjustments. From the inside, drill all four corners of the outside wall to make the starter holes for the saw. Then, using a sawzall, cut all the perimeter around the framing you created. Remove all the pieces that you don't need and clean the area. Try the door to make sure it fits and there is no need for any more cutting. Measure the wall thickness and add a quarter of an inch. Transfer that measurement and mark all four pieces of the tunnel and get ready to cut. Use the pre-drilled holes to secure the piece you are going to cut. Use a jigsaw, sawzall, or a circular saw to cut the tunnel pieces. We recommend using metal blades and wearing appropriate protection for your eyes, hands, and arms. Repeat the steps to secure and cut the corner pieces. You can use trigger clamps to secure the back side. Assemble the tunnel first to make sure it fits perfectly. Fit the assembled tunnel inside of the external half, leaving the smooth, uncut edges out. Drill the pieces together in all four corners. You can use the trigger clamps to hold them in place. Install the screws in each hole from the inside. If the screws are hard to install, try to re-drill them with a slightly bigger drill bit. Mark an inch and a quarter from the smooth edge so you can pre-drill the holes without going too wide. You will be using them to secure the internal half of the door later. Insert the external half with the installed tunnel from the outside of the house. Next, insert the internal half of the door and make sure everything fits. Make adjustments if it doesn't. Using the trigger clamps, hold both pieces securely so you can install the last screws. Please make sure to not put too much pressure with the clamps so you do not bend or break the door. Make sure the whole door is leveled and make any adjustments if necessary. 
You can tape the flap to the wall temporarily so it is not in your way while you install the screws. Use the holes that you pre-drilled before as a guide to drill the internal half of the door and install the screws on all four places. Use a smaller screwdriver if you are installing a small size door. Drill at least two holes in both sides of the door to secure the door to the existing stud and also the spacer you installed. Prepare your caulking gun. We recommend clear caulk for this part. Caulk the inside of the bottom and sides of the door where the tunnel meets the interior and exterior halves of the door. Use masking tape for the caulking to make the installation waterproof. Apply a bit of caulking around the door to complete the installation with a neat finish. Use a cloth or paper towel to remove any excess if necessary. Take off all of the blue plastic which protects the door from getting scratches. Also, take off the plastic from the secured door. Install the doorknob by hand or using a screwdriver. You can see how it slides in. Make sure the flaps are working properly. You can use the black locking mechanism clips to secure the door so you don't have any uninvited visitors in your house. So that is it. That is how you install an extreme dog door. For any questions, please visit us at www.extremedogdoor.com or call us to talk to American-based customer support.